right guys, so our first exercise is the kickstand pipe. All right, real simple. You get your feet about hip width apart and you'll go to a, you'll go a toe, right? Toes to heel relation. So that means that my heel, if I draw, right? That means if I draw a line from my heel to my toes, it should be a straight line. So I don't want my foot back here. I don't want my foot all the way up front. I want a toe to heel relationship, okay? And what I'm gonna do is make sure this leg is straight because this is gonna be the leg I'm, I'm stretching. I'm gonna dorsal flex my ankle, and then I'm sit, this leg can be bent, all right? And then I'm simply gonna sit my hips back, almost like I'm hinging at the hips. And then I'm just gonna hold this position just like this. Now, I'm gonna feel this in what's called the popliteus, which is right behind the knee. Again, just like the other stretches, I'm squeezing this VMO, and I'm driving my kneecap, trying to drive my kneecap through the back of my leg. This is going to ensure that this leg is completely straight. If the leg is not straight, you are not stretching. So if there's any bend in your leg, you are not stretching. Now, eventually, you do want to get to the point where you can touch your toes and even touch the ground. Now, if you touch your toes and touch the ground, but the knee uh, bends, no good. So just go as low as you can go. And one thing I like doing is kind of keeping a sort of tabletop back if I can until I get to parallel, and then I start to bend forward. So again, to get into this position, I'll hinge, try to get into tabletop as close as I can, and then from there, I'll fold forward. And again, you're gonna feel this in the popliteus right here. Now, one thing I found is that some people have trouble balancing Right. Some people have trouble balancing here. They'll be like almost falling all over the place so they can't feel the stretch. So what I like doing is if you have one, using the incline board. By the way, I suggest everyone purchase one of these. They're not that expensive and they're super helpful. Okay, So I suggest putting this foot here. Again, squeezing your VMO, driving your knee uh, through the back of your quad. Now I sit the hips back in the same manner. And then now, you don't have to worry too much about balancing. You can just get a nice stretch, okay? So that's, enough. that's one way you can do it. Now, if you don't have an incline board, you can use a yoga block. So same idea. Now, I don't like too high yoga blocks for this, but this yoga block is cool. And same idea. Okay, I get into position. And I'm right here. So now I feel a good stretch. Same idea. So if you can get creative, shoot, I just thought of this, but shoot, you can even use a dumbbell if you wanted to. Use a dumbbell if you wanted to, if that's all you have, okay? Yeah, dumbbell works just as good, all right? So as long as you get creative, you can find a way.